more beautiful will be falling out of the sky tonight. Supercharged particles from a massive solar storm, those will slam into Earth's upper atmosphere tonight, firing up the Aurora Borealis. My favorite things. This is going to be one of the strongest such storms in a decade. And that does mean millions of sky watchers across the lower 48 could actually get a view of the light show. That is if the clouds cooperate. And that's always the, the caveat, right, Ian? Yes. You've experienced it. I've experienced it to yes. some degree. If the clouds work in your favor, this is an absolutely beautiful thing to see. I know you're not trying to rub it in, but I can, <laughs> I can feel the joy in your voice because you got to experience yeah. this cloud cover. Uh, spoiled my experience, but you see some scenes of it. We're already starting to see some pictures coming in as the wow. solar storm has gotten started. But yes, you get these charged particles. Earth's magnetic field uh, shields much of the planet, but they uh, get directed around the field mm -hmm. and into the poles where they start interacting with the atmosphere. Right, and that is why you have to kind of head either farther north or far south to kind of see it to the poles because those have the better chances of getting a good glimpse of it. I love that we kind of broke this down because being out and seeing this gives me more context of what I actually was seeing, right? Yeah. Uh, the type of molecules that we were seeing, I got a chance to see both green and pink as well as even red and green. So technically I've seen oxygen and nitrogen molecules. I'm not <laughs> rubbing it in, I, I promise. I don't need the balloon anymore. I'm going <laughs> to toss that over there. What's most important here, because yes, we're talking about a lot of places where you're mm -hmm. like, wait a minute, the northern lights, yeah. yes, way far off to the south, unless, of course, you have overcast skies, you're not seeing anything anyway. Uh, some areas, though, Kiana, all the way down to KC, Denver, you're in pretty good shape. Yeah, and, and again, another thing to mention, if you're in these big cities, say New York, I know it says good, but you may have to head a little farther outside of the city. That light pollution could skew your view a little bit. Yeah, so if you're out in a rural spot mm -hmm. and you look up and you can see stars, you might be in for a treat moving through the weekend as this uh, solar storm uh, is up close to historic territory. Take so. a picture and send it to us here at Fox yeah. Weather.